welcome to the Yahaha Tutorials. In the last episode, we talked about the basic settings of Rigibody. Today, we will be diving further into the Rigibody component. In this tutorial, you will learn how to add force to an object. To add a constant force to an object with Rigibody, start by adding an object to the scene and ensure that it has a non-mesh collider attached to it. Next, there will be three different collision options to choose from. The sphere collision is relatively applicable to the most scenarios. Add a sphere collider and turn it on. Next, add a rigid body to the object by choosing Component, Gameplay, Rigid Body, making it a Ya yeah entity. Finally, click the right mark and select the following script to apply constant force to the entity. In this example, we are applying a 5000 Newton force to the object in the forward direction of its Z axis. Let's test it out. It works perfectly. If you want to use a box collider, you must disable gravity and let it float in order to slide forward. It cannot make the object roll. The usage effect of capsule collider is similar to that of sphere collider. Now, let's learn how to add an explosion force to an object. The explosion force is a sphere that can be applied to an object to simulate explosion effects. You can use the add explosion impulse force function to add an explosion force to an object. Again, add an object to the scene and make sure it has a non-mesh collider attached to it. Turn on the sphere collider and add a rigid body to the object, making it a ya yeah entity. Then, add the following script to the entity to apply the force to it. In this example, we are using the physics physicsapi.add explosion implosion force function to apply an explosion force to the rigid body. After a 5 second delay, an explosion force of 1000 newtons is applied to the specified position with a radius of 15 and moves along the y axis to lift the object upwards. Let's see the result. It's perfect. That's all for today. In the next tutorial, we will be discussing the second component of physics, the physics material component. See you next time.